Okay, guys, so before I told you guys why I have this little bag, because uh, if y'all know, I just realized while wow, I did not look at the thing, uh, it has eight pieces. Um, but you probably saw this on the short video I made like just a couple minutes ago, and uh, yeah, pretty I'm excited to unbox this, but uh, anyway, guys, um, and yes, it's like the first. Um, on Rival Collection figure I just bought. Uh, like I said, this is a GameStop exclusive. Uh, and it's a limited edition. So, I know y'all gonna say, why are you gonna unbox this? It's a collector's item. I told him, I told my brother the same, my brother told me the exact same thing, and I told him, well, I gotta open it, but I'm gonna have to have a little baggie for the items if the little pegs does come off. So, yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and show you guys the accessories he has and uh, the figure itself. So, here we go. Also, check out the background. That's pretty cool. It's like the... It looks like the actual background from Street Fighter, from the video games, you know? I am closing this right. Okay, I guess that's work. That works. <clears throat> so, okay, um, I will have to put the plastic back in under the packaging. So, let's go ahead and look at the accessories. So, first accessories. Uh, he has these little. I won't say, like, grip hands that holds the item, like, if you're holding, a, like, a title or something. Maybe a reppin, or, like, I'm gonna call them Lego hands from the Lego minifigures. And, yes, by the way, guys, I am doing a comparison video on Monday, which I'm gonna film that video that day till my mom and brother leaves to go to the doctors. And, uh, well, I'll probably, probably the next day. And this one, he has, and the second accessories he has is these little Kamehameha Dryball C reference. With the, um, kind of looks like the Dragon Ball C hands. Let, let me know down in the comments below. Do they not look like them? And the famous taunt he has. The little figure pointing. Like the point like a like a nerf gun and the like little thing you're holding like a basketball with and then the last accessory is the headpiece which looks like he's smiling i don't know that kind of looks like they had the they did the exact same thing with the wwe figures for mattel now let's get to the figure all right guys so here's the figure itself uh he does have that weird ab crunch because you don't want to break that so here's the head and let's take this head off and see what he looks like with this head on okay uh here's the eighth accessories him screaming like he's going cray cray and here's the hands wow okay and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, he got he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he doesn't rotate the race. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 points of articulation. Wow. Okay. Uh... 
Let's remove the other fist hand and see what he will look like with this one. Okay, so, okay, yeah, hold on. I just looked at the picture just now. So here's the figure itself. Uh, yes, what's really weird heard about this, they also have a, you know that little Darby Allen figure? I mean, not figure, because, like, the little Darby Allen, um, wrestling buddy thing I did an unboxing of way back in two years ago in December of 2021. Okay, we got more articulation. 19, well, a little bit of 19, and 20 points of articulation, okay. Uh, fun, fa fun fact, guys. Did you guys know he came out out cosplaying as the Sword Art Online main protagonist, Kirito? Yeah, like this figure. Um, didn't find the other two, which this Kenny Omega one looks pretty interesting, so... Yeah, I want to name this title of this video, uh, Jazz, Jazz Wears AEW Crossover Street Fighter Limited Edition GameStop Exclusive Kenny Omega figure, and he is number three. But, um, anyway guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe.